This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshokeye. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> now that I mentioned your name, I remember the day Ewa said you and Bob Risky had <coughs> some... <laughs> had what? Almost similar surname, and we're talking about him. Oh, Okuna, yeah. That's a surname. It's not sugar. Okune. <laughs> There's no you know, Okune in our sugar. I know you're about to say, you Abi. Silebu Yoruba. It's like the Silebu. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> level one. Yes, now they're slippery over. They're slippery over, but mm -hmm. then the, no, this surname thing has nothing to do with slippery. Okun, okun nenye, oshonke. It's just the nenye. Nenye and kaya don't sound alike, though. Oh, nenye kaya. Okay, don't start. Let's we'll get there in due time. Nothing but... sounds like that. <laughs> do you understand? Like, just take that out of your mind. Okay, okay. no problem. Great. Moving mm -hmm. on. Daddy V shares today show back photos. Um, she's um, warning little girls not to smoke cigarettes to look cool. She shared a photo of her 15 years old self trying to impress the seniors at high school. She says, when you grow up, you will see how dumb you look. So mm -hmm. I like that Cardi B is advocating for something in a long time without being too sarcastic about it, mm. you know. And um, this is good. I mean, I'm not going to say anyone shouldn't smoke, but I think if you want to decide to do that, then maybe when you get to a certain level and you understand the consequences of your actions mm. and sometimes responsibilities that come with the actions you want to take, then you're free to do whatever you want to do. But then I like the message, basically. Mm. I, to be honest, I really like the message and I like that it's coming from somebody like her mm. because she's someone that a lot of young girls look, look up to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be surprised how many people, how many girls, I mean, would stop smoking, smoking because, because of, of this. this because yeah. some people, they try to really live Cardi B's lifestyle. Mm. Anything she does, that's what they're doing. Anything she says, that's what they're following. Mm. And for her to be using a platform to speak out on um, societal health issues like this, I mean, I really appreciate that she's doing this. And they say it's good to learn from other people's mistakes. If somebody has done something and they are advising you not to do it, trust me, they are probably regretting low-key why they did that thing. And I like that she's saying this, like I said earlier. It's a good one from her. I like the message. Yeah, I don't think anyone should do anything to impress anyone to start with. Mm. So um, if your reason for smoking is because of peer pressure or because you're trying to impress somebody... Then, to look cool. Or to look cool, then that's a dumb reason to smoke. But if you smoke because you understand what is useful in it, like people that use medical marijuana and things like that, you know it's for uh, medical purposes. Mm. But if you just want to do that because um, you think it makes you look cool or it makes you... Then it's, a, it's really dumb. So... It won't just look dumb, you should feel dumb as well. Mm -hmm. So I think um, Caddy spots on in this one. Mm. Okay, moving on to the next story. Kevin Hart um, he was seen driving another vintage car after a near fatal accident. Thankfully, he appears to be recovering really fast. So um, I saw the short video, I don't know if you two saw it. And mm. he is working pretty good. And he was asked if he would be doing comedy anytime soon. And he was like, in time. But now he wants to. He wants to rest and uh, recover properly. And I think the real buzz now is everyone looking forward to Jumanji. Mm. So I'm, I'm super glad that he's back on his feet. I mean, he can drive, so he's really getting better. So I'm happy for him. Um, yeah, I'm happy that he's back on his feet. I'm mm. just extremely happy and because he's recovering so fast. I mean, mm. this week we're talking about him trying to make baby steps and the next week he's already working well and driving like there's nothing nothing happened to him <clears throat> and i feel like people should leave him um alone and let him live his life instead of saying he's driving um, another classic another um classic car and then he's not using his belt and all of that i mean he's over that a lot of people will probably have car accidents and will never be able to drive themselves yeah, or, but if he's overcoming that fear and he's moving on people should let him be him and let him enjoy his life we're all happy that he's getting um is recovering so fast so i don't think i don't i don't see the need for people to be on his case that you should do this he's not a kid he knows what he wants basically i think why people are bothered is because um when the car does he have and it's the um 
danger of fatality is higher or the risk of fatality is higher. You so think he does not know? He well, knows. Yeah, the fact that you know and you do it don't, don't mean it's the right thing to do. I think people are just worried. That's why the fans are actually talking about it. So let people be worried for who they love. You get, but saying that um, he was not the one driving when he had the accident, he was his bodyguard, right? Right? It was his bodyguard? Yeah, his friend. Was his bodyguard friend. or yeah. his friend? I think so. One of them. He wasn't the one driving, so I don't know why people are trying to pin it like, oh, he was the one driving, then he had an accident, and then he's driving it again. No, I think what, they are, a, what they are pinning is that he... The honest part. No, not that, that they are both classic cars, basically. Yeah, that, I think that's a stain. I think he has the thing for mm. vintage cars. And they are, like, and, uh, very fast cars that if you can't control them... That's a Camaro them. 69. Did you hear when it started? The engine, mm -hmm. and the ignition went on, and the mm. road, like, that was loud stuff. I loved it. I, so, I, I, for me, I still just feel like they are putting on... Because if you read people's comments, I, I was just like, this person is just getting out of um, accident trauma, and you people are putting all this pressure on him. Let him just live his life. I mean, it's done. Just pray for him that nothing... If you love him, pray that nothing happens to him again. It's not... Well, it comes to it's, being a celebrity, so yeah, people worry about it. And it comes, but they say heaven helps those who help themselves, right? So mm. if your car doesn't have safety, and that you, you almost died from a car crash the last time because of no safety, it's only right for people to be worried. So why, why are we not saying that, oh, let people smoke, let the kids smoke? What's Cardi B zone with telling kids. them? That's his kids. He's an adult. He's an adult. That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah. yeah, but it don't matter. It what probably is wrong enjoy Oh. living the dangerous life you never can tell fast and furious oh. yeah you know <laughs> enjoy okay. the dangerous life <laughs> it's time for a quick break but we'll return we'll definitely have more stories to discuss we'll be right back It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Emma, I always the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. Am I be maybe second after Magneto? Oh, oh, nice! nice. nice. That is going to fry my brains if you saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> for me. I started getting scared when the robot boy started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My uh, kind of person, I'm not ready to you. cry over any man. You look like Jerul, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just just wow. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our next story for conversation is on Laura KJ, who says she has never bleached her skin in her life. So this is coming um, from her responding to backlash, I think, from her mm, followers. She, Let me put it that way. I think she, they, she posted a video mm -hmm. that she looked a little bit lighter and they felt that she she bleached, but she's coming out to say no. That aside the little toning here and there, that she has not done anything major. So yeah. Mm. I really can't be bothered, <laughs> like, but um, if she says she's never bleached in her life, I think we should just believe her mm -hmm. instead of doubting, because I see a lot of people saying, not them, not this, not that. Really, it's really nobody's business, and you owe nobody this explanation, mm. but if you feel like it's our business, then yes, it's our business, but I really can't be bothered. Mm. First, when I saw um, the post on her page, and I read comments, people are dragging this bleach. I mean, it's her skin. First off, you need to know that this is her skin and she can do whatever she wants with her skin. And she's saying that she has never bleached and you're still insisting. No, she has. I mean, do you know no, her I, before? I get that a lot. <laughs> like, I get it a lot. Do, so do you know her before? And I've actually known, I've been following Laura for a while and she doesn't even look like somebody that just stared, um, using any cream or any she has always been light skinned since that I know her. Maybe not as light as this. And like they say, money brings out your true color. <laughs> or like she said, uh, she, yes. that she's probably using the latest phone. And you cannot compare the camera of now to the camera of when did you start following Laura and say pro three, four years ago. You, my problem now is that she's not even saying that she's not using cream. She's not saying she's using coconut oil or one baby she oil. You know she had great to turn in and I don't know why people are really still dragging her because it's her skin. She can do whatever she wants to do mm. with it. Like if I said, I can't be bothered <laughs> to, but 
if she thinks it's her business to explain this, I mean, it's okay. People should just let that be. Yeah, she said it, so believe her, like mm -hmm. Ife said. Moving on to the next story, Bruce Dickinson may be forced to pay $116 million in divorce battle for leaving wife of 29 years and moving in with his super fan girlfriend. Bruce and his wife quietly separated last year. Neither has filed a divorce. Um, but um, Bruce could lose a significant portion of his estates to the mother of his three kids. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm 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 trying not to say what I want to say. What it fell over to you. Well, um happiness they say is priceless. Mm. Um this new girlfriend is um fifteen years younger than him. Mm. And um obviously that's something that'll make any man really, really happy. Mm. So <laughs> I believe really? if really? what what? Really? Being yeah. With somebody younger. Yeah. yeah. It's 61. And then if he has a younger girl 15 years young, a girl 15 years younger than him and she gives him a, he has even moved to a house. Mm. Do you understand? So if she's giving him the happiness and then I don't think he's worried about the money. And besides, um, the wife, people are just worried that if she pursues a legal action, then mm. he might lose this. But I don't think she's even because they share grown up kids together. So it's not like she's looking for child support or anything like that. So they have a 29 year old son, a 27 year old son, a 28 year old daughter or something like that. Well, yeah, of course, spousal support will definitely come in depending on what she does. If she's solely dependent on his income, mm. but if she has her own income, then she doesn't need no spousal support. So people are just worried about that. But aside that, I think it's a good thing if the man is <laughs> he wants to be happy. Please, by all means, sir, be happy. Typical. Typical Ever. man, right? Mm. <laughs> well, the wife is not complaining. You guys are talking for her. Mm. Well, we, we've not even said anything. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the people out there. Okay, the yeah. And like you first said, I think people are just scared that they are not officially done. They are not like divorced officially. So they're just worried that if she wants to make it official since she, he has moved in with her and all that, that's when she gets all those things. But... It's okay if she gets it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's very okay. Like if I said, happiness is what that matters. Mm, if the money, if is, the our money is our own happiness, take it. Take it. Typical. Take it. <laughs> Moving on to. Moving on. Don't you tell person. us your take? <laughs> Don't you tell us your take? Tell My us take. Your take. Mm. Happiness. Is all that matter? Be quantified. <laughs> mm. So if $116 million is the price you have to pay to be happy, since the first is if you are with a younger woman, then you're happy. Be so happy. Oh, hold on, Seb. You're not, not paying wait, the full $116. Are, it's hey, going to no, no, lose a, a part of his estate. Yes. Mm. It's still, yeah. it's still a yeah. price, right? And it's worth right? 116 It's a price. It's a price. So actually. if that is what he has to pay to be happy, then I'm happy for him. But mm. are you saying... People that are married and are still with their wife for 29, 30, 40, 50 years are not happy. Well, happiness is relative. I know that's what you're going to say. So that's why I really don't have anything to say. If she, if one hundred and sixty, it's one hundred and sixty million dollars. <laughs> it's going to make her happy too. My love. My Go for is. it. Yeah. I mean, everybody should just, just be do happy. Do whatever makes happy. Make them as long happy. as it doesn't hurt anybody else. Mm. Like you're not killing anyone. You're not. Purposely going out to hurt someone, so just be happy. Like I, I don't think anybody's getting hurt. Yet. No, mm. nobody. Everybody's just <laughs> happy. <laughs> so the next story is on Bob Risky, who says he wants to contest for Miss World in 2020. If you're sure, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I see that um, he said he's undergoing a lot of surgery because mm. he doesn't want the drama anymore because it's better for you to... But I think that way I'll be able to even respect Ishmael better because... Mm. Um, Just call him Ishmael, we want to what? see Just call him Bob Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be able to understand Ishmael better if um, when the... What's it called? The whole procedure is done, done and mm. then she is, she is now... A woman. I, I see some um, blogs using her for Bob Risky. So I want to ask if he has done like an affidavit or something to say, uh, you get what I'm saying, right? Like no. if there's an illegal, okay, they just feel like they should respect him. I think it's very disrespectful to even refer to him as he as well. Oh, okay. Yes, because um, I think we should just put it in between <laughs> because Bob Risky, I really don't know because one minute is a woman, the next minute is a guy. And so it sometimes I'm lost. <laughs> do you understand? Mm. So let's just so let him do this procedure and let's get that up, out of the oh, way. Yeah. But I really don't know about the legal standpoint in Nigeria that mm. after you have undergone um, the procedure and you're now 
a complete woman. I don't think does we have that space make for that you, in the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah as in, does that make you legal? <laughs> does that make you legal or will you be an abomination in the society? Hmm. Do you understand? So I really do not understand where he is going to stand even after the procedure. Will he have to He'll move probably have out to of seek the country? Yeah. Will he seek asylum? Because I see a lot of people protesting that, oh, Bobisky is an abomination already. So a man that has now turned himself to a woman, what is he going to be? Hmm. That's the question. Okay. So, uh, and this old Miss World thing, I saw Skibby's comments on it. He said, he put laughing, not said, do Miss Nigeria first. I mean, that was where I was going to come from. Because if you're because going to represent Nigeria Wall, yeah. in the but world, Miss you have to be accepted level. here, right? And go through and win. No, no, but wait, so. are you people taking him serious? Skibby? On this, no, mm. on this Miss no, no, World. No, he's taking himself crazy. serious. He's actually serious. Uh, no, I don't think Bobby is serious. We are the ones not taking him serious, or we are the ones that shouldn't take him serious, but I think he's taking himself seriously. No, I don't think so. By the time he gets thumbs up from them, Tuntu, like, yeah, girl, no. I really don't think um, Bob, anybody should take Bobby, not like take him serious, not like not take him serious all the time, but when he says stuff like this, I'm sh I, like, Bob Risk is just saying it well, I think to get this, attention, yeah, but to this be honest. Dream for this being the Miss World dream is a very wrong dream, especially knowing that you're a Nigerian. So even if she's ever going to happen, which I highly doubt, you have to leave this country, become a national somewhere else, try to be their Miss whatever over there, mm. then come to the world stage. So What's this guy, Bola Alimi? Is it BC is that BC Alimi, right? I saw him wearing a dress and boots as well. But he's married. He's yeah, he's married. Yeah. married. But he's not in the country. Yeah, he's not when he in comes visits. in, he goes, yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, that's under, and they're both HIV positive or something. I have yeah. no idea. I well, so. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> but Risky. I'm not I sure. Mean, Please, oh, before you guys go and say but that. But Risky, uh, I really, I really cannot take stuff like this. <laughs> Coming from Bob Risky, serious. I mean, Bob just wake up and says, I've been menstrual pain, or oh, he thinks he's pregnant, or something. So, I, I okay, he says stuff like that. So. You guys, I just feel like he's just saying this because he knows that people would talk, talk. and like, okay, fine, people. He's like, well, I'm not talking you, about. Do you, it. Do you agree that to... he's undergoing surgery? It's possible. Okay. And, I, mean, I think that was the possible. information he was trying to put out there that mm. look, I'm actually undergoing the procedure to be. But and I feel like he, if I said, I think I would respect him more if he actually undergoes the surgery, and then we will know that he's making this decision that he wants to really. It, do, it does not want to be a male. Not like sometimes he wears a dress and we still see his balls. Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, really? You do? Mm. What? You do? <laughs> they say to me, it's not like, I don't say Oh, my goodness. But the blogger sees. If my daddy come out, right? Because eh? I, I don't even see the blog <laughs> If you don't check enough blog sites, you should. Oh because the blog sites always circle Are you sure it's already the circle list that you see it? Or you just go and oh, check you yourself. See. Well, there won't be anything wrong with that if I but go and check okay, it myself because yeah. I really truth. want to be sure. Yeah, you have fans, actually. I Keep can living your that truth. Already. Thank you for watching, and that's how we end this episode. Remember, you can catch up on this one or all our episodes and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on r tv and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, to go to my co-anchors, Ewaolu Aritu, and Ifeolu Oshuke, and, of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching, and be great.